Hello and welcome to this very quick video about finding content. Now I've had a conversation with one of my friends who's one of his buddies was trying to set up iNav using one of my series and was confused because some of the configuration stuff looked a little bit different. Now this is because if you go on something like Google and you search for iNav and pop my name after it then it's going to give you not necessarily the newest videos first. In fact, it makes it very tricky to try and get it ordered by date range because Google wants to give you the answers Google wants to give you. So tough. However, I try and get around this by every video that I make. If we just click on this very, very quickly, fast forward through the advertisement, you'll see that I put the date the, these videos are made. Uh, if it's for a not specific time, but it's a specific time of year, it'll be in here, or it's usually more likely to be an actual month. So you know when you're looking at a video, how up to date it is, and not a lot of channels do this. I wish more of us did, particularly those who are explaining and sharing information with you as pilots. Now, if you were coming in here, you might think that I know 3.0 because that was the top pick is the latest and greatest one. But I'm making this video to kind of show you a trick because if you're searching within YouTube itself, then you get a slightly different set of results. So let's do the same search again. And there are all of the videos. There's an awful lot of iNav videos on here with me in it somewhere. But if we open the filters in here, we can do things like pick relevance, upload date, and other things. If we click upload date, then that will absolutely guarantee that you get the most recent videos on that topic shown first. And this, I think, is what was happening. For example, when we did a quick search on here, uh, we're getting iNav 3 and 4 videos. There's iNav for Beginners 2020. Uh, but actually, I've updated that. There's now an iNav for Beginners 2022. Now, hopefully, the date's a bit of a giveaway here. But if you didn't spot that, then potentially you could go off and watch this whole thing. And I think that's what's happened with this individual. However, within YouTube, if you organize it and use the filters and sort by upload date, then it means that you're going to get a much better view of the most recent videos because stuff in the hobby changes so incredibly quickly. A video that's six months old is probably got some out of date information in it. A video that's over 12 months old is probably going to struggle. Now, the only reason that the older iNav series uh, works as well as they do is because the iNav developers work so incredibly hard to make sure that the interface is the same from version to version with a minimum number of tweaks and changes. So a massive thank you to those guys for doing that. But I thought I'd just share this tip. So if you're ever looking for something about a specific piece of technology, particularly in something like the hobby, search in YouTube and use the filters to organize it by the upload date. And that way you'll find the most up-to-date content that's probably using the latest firmware and has all the latest information. Thank you for spending your time today watching that video. You can find me in all the usual places on social media. And if you're trying to learn about a subject, then check out the playlist. All of my videos are organized into easy to follow playlists that if you're trying to learn a topic, will take you from the basics right the way through to some pretty advanced stuff. Thank you.